Hey Virgos, welcome to the channel if you're new and if you're one of my amazing subscribers, thank you for being here, even if you're not. Thank you for stopping by and you can go ahead and become one. Just hit the button, it's free. Get your energy moving throughout the channel. Oh my goodness, I just saw this meme and it was <laughs> it was so funny. It said, uh, respect your parents. They passed school without Google. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just, <laughs> I just found that hilarious. <coughs> but it is kind of true. I mean, all us Gen Xers, we definitely uh, had to rely on memorization. How many of you wrote out things 800 times to remember it and still didn't? <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> I think I'm done with my laughter. I'll just get into your reading. Please note, general messages won't resonate for everyone. So take what does, leave the rest. If you're interested in any meditation trees that I'm making or um, crystals, because I'm now selling crystals, I've partnered with some incredible uh, businesses uh, all over the world. And... Yeah, I've, I'm uploading them on my Etsy shop slowly but surely. So, yeah, just check it out when you feel like it. Or even the website. The website's got them too. But let's get into this. What have we got for Virgos, please? I'm sure that they've heard enough. Messages won't resonate for everyone. Okay, so... I don't know. I'm being told don't take that. I'm being told to do a different shuffle. Okay, okay. I'm just going to listen and I'm just going to do it. Virgos, please, spirit. Virgos. I'm hoping that you're all well. And if the messages don't resonate for you, that's okay. Leave it for the Virgos, it does. Because not all of you are going through the same thing at once. Eight of Wands. Okay, that did want to come up twice now. So... We're going to say the overall energy here for you is the Eight of Wands. A few too many decks going on here. Three of Wands at the center of the reed, crossing it, the Two of Wands. Crossing it, you at the bottom, or the foundation of it is you. The recent past looks like another Earth sign could be you again. This could be very much you, all you. It's all about you, Virgos. Um, or you could be dealing with a Taurus or Capricorn. Um, then you have the Eight of Cups. And advice. What's going on here? All right. So the Eight of Wands speaks to things picking up, going a lot faster, things moving at a very quick speed. Could be anything from communication coming in um, to just a lot of busyness or flurry, excitement around you. But I'm getting a strong feeling as I look at these other cards that it might have to do with energy because you have more wands here than you do any other cards, okay? So maybe things are going to start picking up after a while of being stagnant. This card represents hastiness and speed, rushing or progress or movement and action. So it's usually something that's quite sudden. It could be very exciting, exciting times, travel, freedom, holidays, and maybe even holiday romances. So yeah, you could be in a long distance relationship here. And it basically speaks to whatever you're turning your hand to at the moment is going to take off like at great speed and it's going to gain great momentum. You should be feeling pretty positive and energetic. Um, it's about thinking on your feet, seeing results, finding solutions and hard work paying off and being ahead of the game. It can also represent infatuation, obsession or getting carried away or being swept off your feet. Somebody could be a little obsessed with you because if it's in a relationship, if you are in a relationship, it's a good omen indicating progress or exciting times in that infatuation 
And there's that sweep off your feet energy and you know, whether the relationship is new or you've been together for years, it brings a rush of love and excitement or um, sex or passion. It's a sign of a relationship moving forward at great speed. So maybe you've met somebody and things are going very quickly and you're just shocked about it. Um, and you and your partner are just jumping in with both feet. If you're not in a relationship and you're single, it could mean that you're meeting someone or you will meet somebody very soon who's gonna sweep you off your feet. Although you may have, because look, you have this queen of pentacles in the past position here. But anyway, we'll, we'll keep going. Uh, you may become infatuated or obsessed with this person and the romance will take off quickly, okay? And again, it's that holiday thing. Could be holiday or meeting someone whilst you were traveling. If it has nothing to do with a relationship and perhaps it has to do with career, um, you may find yourself going places in a physical sense, like things might pick up very much like at a quick speed, uh, in the physical sense, such as attending meetings or overseas conferences, which would make sense because there's something here about expansion as well, right at the center of the read with this three of wands. Um, what was crossing it was the two of wands and maybe you weren't able to travel or go anywhere. It was like you were making plans. Or maybe this is something you didn't have planned and then all of a sudden bang it's like now you got to up and go okay maybe you got to come out of your shell and maybe you were just getting used to that you know working from home or staying put maybe you got a new job because this can also signify you know somebody being really good at business and such like this but definitely moving here there's a movement I'm feeling a lot of movement and so um, if you are in business, a new venture could take off, which may happen a lot sooner than you think it would, but it can also signify that hasty energy. So be careful not to jump into things without researching them because they're, you know, that's also what's crossing this is, is not planning out something before actually taking that leap of faith, okay, or without researching it. Um, you may need to be patient a little bit and allow situations to play out just a little bit longer before you take that action. So that could be what that three of wands is, is maybe you are being smart enough and you're sitting back as much as things are progressing very fast. You, you might be very smart in your wisdom to say, Hey, you know, I, I need to slow it down just a little bit. Right. Okay. But if it's to do with finances, it could just be a lot of movements in the finances. So you could have your finger and a lot of pies at the moment or a lot of money coming in and out when it appears all right but it also is a warning too to avoid high risk investments at this time or overspending because there's no need to rush even though you might feel like your money um is burning a hole in your pocket it's like no don't like sit back before you start making all of those, those big purchases. Cause you also have, um, <coughs> the advice here, which is possible financial loss. Okay. So be careful if you're spending too much in the presence, that's what it's saying. It's saying use your, your, your brain when it comes to how much you're dishing out on things. Okay. Um, this hermit in reverse is kind of making me wonder a little bit too whether that's you coming out into the world and, and starting to just pick up speed again or if it's to do with say loneliness or paranoia or um, withdrawal or being a little paralyzed by fear I'm feeling kind of It's like you have two, you're of two minds. I don't understand this reading. It's quite a little, it, it, it's quite a bit <laughs> challenging because it's like one part of you is withdrawn a little bit, right? And it's like, you may have been in solitude for a while and it was a good thing, but now it's time to come back into the world. And maybe that's what that waiting is. is you're just not ready to completely jump in, but you're gonna have to, cause it's gonna speed up. Things are gonna speed up for you, okay? Um, and it's time to also come back to the people around you. 
Maybe you took some time for soul searching and self-reflection, which can be an absolute great thing, but in moderation. Uh, and sometimes too much can be damaging because at some point we need to draw lines under things and move forward, right? And so basically the foundation is now's the time to move forward, but maybe you were already sensing that and that's where that energy and that action is coming from. And the reason why is because in the past was this, this queen of pentacles energy, but I'm going to get a clarification for that. What is this queen of pentacles, please spirit? Actually, I'm being told to use clarification deck. Well, I just will then. So I'm <laughs> just having this one-on-one -on -one discussion with spirit. Yeah. All right. Um, departure. There it is. See? Okay. Yeah. You will be departing and there it is too, because you also have the eight of cups here. Now, somebody may have left your life or you left a situation. You also left some emotional stuff behind, which is good. It's very good. I think you're moving forward with some plans here, whatever that is. And it's something to do with expansion or growth, but in an active sense. So again, whether that be this relationship that you're looking forward to. But I want to know what that Ten of Pentacles is. What, what is that Ten of Pentacles, please? Victory. Beautiful. You're going to get some clarity here. There's going to be some communication, and you're going to feel powerful. You'll feel in your elements. And, you know, actually, some of you might be, I feel like this is a relationship. I really feel that this is some kind of relationship, and it's going to lead to marriage. I know that sounds a little crazy, but... Whoever it is, they think about you all of the time and consistently, and they want a victory with you, whoever you're dealing with. And if you get that chance to travel to, to meet them, say if this was long distance, I would say do it. You know, get on the plane, go see them, or allow them to come visit you, whatever be the case. Yes, there may be some issues in terms of travel, but I get this feeling like wherever you're at, you're, you're going to be able to squeeze it in. You're going to be able to squeeze in the travel. And maybe even the travel isn't so far. Maybe it's just like an hour's drive. And if that be the case, do it, right? Just do it. Um, you also have a lot of eights here too. So that's magnifying the power here. I want to know though, what is the eight of cups, please? Because that one came up twice. Departure, departure, departure. Tell me more about departure, please, spirit. Moving quickly, again, something very quickly. You could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But it's like you're leaving drama from the past behind, but someone is fighting for you <laughs> they, they are just not going to let up you got error quite a bit of error coming in so somebody's going to be fighting for you um maybe you're going to play a little hard to get <laughs> which could be the case but regardless i do see long-term commitments here all right now of course everybody has free will so you might decide that you're not ready for a commitment yet i don't know that's up to you, but I get the feeling that it's here. It's here for you. And it's moving you towards this ultimate fulfillment. They might also have a lot of money and stability. You might go into business together. Maybe this is somebody that you're in business with. So maybe, oh, so maybe some of you are going to be moving for your job and then you're going to fall in love with somebody where you end up going for work. But yeah, this Knight of Swords is just, it's like big changes are coming and you have to be willing to grab it with both hands and go for it. Three of Wands, please, Spirit. Three of Wands. Woo! The sun, look at that. Absolute happiness, angel of happiness, the lovers, there it is, angels of commitment, and the star, Aquarius energy, angel of hope. So, <laughs> Virgos, if you have been off the market for a good while, 
like it or not, um, someone is going to be coming in for you. They are going to be a little pushy about it. Um, it's like they're not going to take no for an answer. So even if you play a little hard to get, mm, yeah, no. They, they see you as something pretty special. And I think maybe that's maybe why you might be a little scared is just how fast it comes on. But this is also soulmate energy. So perhaps now is the time. Maybe this is that time for that commitment for you guys and the happily ever after and the getting married and, and the getting the house and the car and um, a long-term stable relationship. One that, you know, forms generations by having children, you know, a longevity. So all in all, there's a lot of happiness here in terms of this commitment, a lot of hope and renewal. Um, and I feel like this person looks at you like you're the star, okay? And that's why they're, they're fighting so hard for you. I don't feel like there's something you need to be worried about. And sometimes, sometimes love just comes about and it can happen very quickly. Now, it doesn't happen for everybody like that, but sometimes, like I'm hearing love at first sight, sometimes it does happen. Okay, you guys? So, whatever you've been waiting on here to take action on, or whether you've been thinking or dreaming about taking action, now is the time, and it, it, it's got nowhere to go but up. All right? Moving towards your, your goals and your dreams, moving towards your happiness, and you deserve it. All right? So let's get you some advice from Spirit if you're so inclined. You have this potential for, for this long-term happy relationship. It's just your choice. Giving and receiving, there it is. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. So when you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. So for optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation so i'm getting this feeling like um if if someone comes in and they start giving to you in some way shape or form give back too okay open up a little bit because good things are happening tell me one more thing about courage have the courage to change it. i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence absolutely and that is confidence right here. So if you're afraid because maybe, you know, you were abandoned in the past or maybe you have some abandonment issues, it's saying, you know, don't let that stop you from taking this opportunity that the universe is trying to provide to you, okay? You don't have to be afraid. Despite the fact that it's easy to be afraid and nobody wants to be bitten twice, but I don't see that happening here, okay? And we also have to be careful of our thoughts because if we allow ourselves to continuously think that things might be dangerous or not good for us, then we end up creating that, all right? All right, my angels, go for it. That's, that's the motto, just go for it. <laughs> have a great one, you guys. See you again soon. Bye, Virgos.